Welcome everybody to the channel. Today I'm going to be making a different kind of video. I'm going to start making reaction videos now. I'll go back to making original content soon. I'm reacting to the top 30 college football players as of right now. According to 24-7 Sports, Michael Penix Jr. is number one. He's coming off his worst game of the season. He had less than 300 yards for the first time all year. And I think he's a little bit higher number one. I'll have Jaden Daniels above him. Jaden Daniels is a much better uh, runner. He's a good passer too. He's not behind Michael Penix Jr., I wouldn't say, even though Malik Neighbors does carry him, who's also on this list at number five. And Malik Neighbors is not better than Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison Jr. is definitely the best receiver in college football right now. I wouldn't mind, you know, I wouldn't argue if you say Malik Neighbors is better. But Marvin Harrison Jr. just had like what, 160 yards against Penn State, and he's the number one receiver. He's carrying the Ohio State offense, not going to lie. Like, without him, I mean, he's Calvin McCord's favorite. So, of course, you know, they're going to friend pass and whatever. And I'll have Marvin Harrison Jr. ahead of Malik Neighbors. Olu Fashion, I don't know. Uh, he's the tackle for Penn State. Yes, he's definitely he's the best lineman in college football right now. I agree with that. Top five. I don't know if I would put him above Caleb Williams. Uh, Joe Alt is another lineman in this top ten. He is overrated. Like, he's not that good. I'm going to be honest. Heading, coming into the season... I was thinking, you no, know, Joe Alt is one of the best linemen. I talked about him in my first video, that uh, college football video that I made this year, and he's really not that good at watching Notre Dame games. He's he's not good. He, he's he's not even like overly like super big. So it's like, oh, he's gonna be a good NFL player once he makes it. He's still gonna be drafted in the first round probably, but I think he's overrated. Loma Donze is number seven. He's a good receiver. And he had he has what like six games of a hundred yards receiving this year, yeah he's a beast. And Drake May, Drake May is someone who last year I did not like. I believe I I blamed him you no know, for UNC losing games last year. He could have been so much better, but I just don't think he's good. And but this year he's changed my mind. He's shown he's more like Mahomes than Caleb Williams is. And I'm saying that even though they're both able to get off some really cool passes, they can get on, you know, they're both good at you know, they're making those like cool plays, like those shovel passes and stuff. And Jake May, and I would say he's more like Mahomes. It's more, you know, that unorthodox style of a quarterback. And he's a good rusher. I wouldn't say he's a better rusher than Caleb Williams. That's why I will have Caleb Williams over Jake May still. And But Jake May is a good passer, and he's... Reckless with the ball, like Caleb Williams, you know, throwing interceptions, even though they lasted a long time this year, both of them, you know, for just throwing touchdowns and no interceptions. But in the rec recent weeks, they've each thrown a lot of interceptions, kind of like Josh Allen in the NFL right now. Next up at number 11 is JJ McCarthy. Look, I see a lot of mock jobs having him in the first round. I don't think he's that special. I will say he's better than Caden McNamara, of course, but like, I, I still don't like JJ McCarthy. In my opinion, He's a slightly better Cade Klubnik. I don't know where he is on this list. I don't even know if he's on this list. I doubt he will. Uh, number 12 is Dallas Turner. Yeah, he's good. He's he's actually really good. Is he better than Will Anderson? No, of course not. But, you know, we don't. he doesn't need to be. Number 13 is Malachi Starks. Great. He's 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 a good DB. If, if I'm an NFL team, I'm taking him first round. Easy. All day. Malachi Starks is the best defensive back in college football, in my opinion. There's a lot of you know. There's been a lot of videos I've seen people arguing who the top five DBs are. Malachi Starks is the best, and he's he's the only one that everyone can agree on is the best. Some people will say Kule McKinstry, who is actually on this list at number eighteen, as you can see. And I like Kule, but just too many times that it feels like he just doesn't. He 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 plays to the receiver good, but he doesn't play to the ball as well as he should. I hope you know what I mean. Uh, Latu's number 14. I think that's a bit high from UCLA. Jonathan Brooks, 15. He's a beast, but I still think that's a little bit too high. Luther Burden at number 16. He's good. He's really good at receiver. He's carrying. I wouldn't say carrying because Brady Cook's a, a decent quarterback, but Luther Burden's good, but I would still say he's too high. Cooper DeJean is number 17. Another good defensive back. No, I mean, I'm going to be excited once he gets to the NFL. And I think 17 is a good spot for him. Shadur Sanders is number 19. Don't get me wrong. He's a he's a good quarterback. He's a good decision maker. But I don't think he's anything that special. And I, I know he works with the battle line. And he takes what he can get. 
but I don't think he's better than number 20 Keon Coleman I think Keon Coleman has a more bigger role on his team you know coming in for that big place even though Johnny Wilson's on the team too Travis Sander or uh, yeah how how is uh, Jordan Travis not on this list yet I'm surprised that Jordan Travis is behind Shadur Sanders that doesn't make any sense to me I don't know where he is but we'll see in a moment and uh, yeah Keon Coleman he's really big transfer from Michigan State I like him Shadur Sanders not so much next at 21 we have Bo Nix he's a good quarterback he's a good decision maker like Shadur Sanders but he's not expected to do much or he's not asked to do much I should say he doesn't throw deep a lot as you wouldn't expect from college quarterback I don't think he's anything special I liked him when he was at Auburn I say this every single time I talk about him but right now I'm I'm impressed yeah I don't think he's gonna be a day one maybe not even I don't even think he should be a day two draft pick either number 22 Jason Henderson and this guy's a good linebacker he I don't think he's the best though like I wouldn't have him in the top 100 even he doesn't have that many tackles this year he's not the biggest he's not the fastest and I think this is his just impact on the field this is just way too high for him number 23 is Travis Hunter again I don't like this guy the first game against TCU everyone got so high on him and everyone has been high on him even though he hasn't you know that's his best game all year he peaked in week one so I don't know why everyone's still so high on him 24 Cooper Beam this guy is big 335 and uh, yeah he's he was the best uh, offensive lineman in the big 12 last year he's gonna win that award again likely and that's uh Tavondre Swift uh Sweat does and I don't, I don't think he will he's at 28 he's he's a good lineman he's part of this you know Texas team and this Texas line has struggled a lot but he's you know been the constant for them you know with all the injuries and stuff 25 is Javon Bullard he's the safety for he plays safety I believe Georgia he's everything you expect from strong safety you know he can hit hard he's fast he you know he's a good he's good at preventing big plays you know he's as good he's good at doing everything a safety is supposed to do and that's why I like him a lot number 26 came on record this dude's a beast he's got seven and a half sacks this year he's really good 27 Patrick Paul I'm a U of H fan I don't there's no bias but it's not the opposite of bias either when I say that he's overrated into the season he was like a top three lineman I think uh, people were expecting and yeah he's he's falling off he's I don't he's not a game changer I would say that now he is the person that the uh, Sneed the running back runs behind a lot of times you know Patrick Paul he's good you know playing that role and he's good for what he is I don't think he's you know can better than any of these other linemen that you see on this on the screen right now such as JC Latham he's better than Patrick Paul he's more he's he's not as versatile I would say you know playing more interior he doesn't but you know he's I mean Patrick Paul is big so is but so are all these other linemen and these other linemen are better blockers I would say Patrick Paul he doesn't get to show how good he is in the run game but he is actually good in the run game Mohamed Kamara is number 30. I haven't watched, you know, Colorado State at all this year, so I can't say anything about him. I was just going over the top 30 players, but here are some names that didn't make the top 30 for some reason. Who I would have in my top 30, Quinn Ewers. He's a, the quarterback for Texas, obviously. He's good. Like, Texas without him versus with him. I don't know how they survive without him, but he's because he's that good of a quarterback. Like, he makes that big of a difference. And I'm not just saying that, that he should be on this list because he's a quarterback for, you know, the top five team no like he's actually good Jordan Travis I yeah he's he's falling off I can agree with him not being in the top 30 Jared Verse his teammate yeah he's falling off too it's sad because I was really looking forward to another good year this is his second year at Florida State and he just hasn't lived up to it Dylan Gabriel Heisman candidate how is he not top 30 it's whatever Nate Wiggins from Clemson he's the a lockdown he's not a lockdown quarterback but he he reminds me of Jalen Ramsey in a way like I would have Nate Wiggins as a top five defensive back behind Kool-Aid behind Starks of course and Jerzon Newton he's a beast defensive tackle from Illinois he's huge he, he puts a polarizing effect on other teams every single game so like these are the five guys four I should say really who I believe should be in there you know because of course I'm Jordan Travis, Jared Verse shouldn't be in the top 30, but these other four players should definitely be in the top 30. I think Jared Jerzon Newton was like 91, 
I think, in, according to 24-7 Sports or whoever made this, which is ridiculous. He's the best defensive lineman. I'll just go ahead and say that. Better than Makai Wingo, who's also fallen off unimpressive so far. I expect more of him. Thank you for watching. That's all I have. I'm going to make more videos tomorrow, and peace.